What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix your trackpad if it's not working on Windows 10 and 11. Now I'll be demonstrating most of the fixes in Windows 11 for this video, but the process is going to be virtually identical on Windows 10, even though it looks a little different on Windows 11, same process over on Windows 10. Another thing is, since the touchpad is not working, we're going to have to use different methods of navigating around our computer, so if you have an external mouse like I do, just plug that in or connect it via Bluetooth. If you of a touch screen, try to use that. If those are unavailable to you, there is a way to navigate around your computer using just the keyboard. So it's usually the Windows key to open up the Windows menu and to search for stuff using the tab and the arrow keys to move between different menus, the enter key to enter sub menus and drop down stuff, and the space key to enter whatever is selected. So with that out of the way, let's get into some of the fixes we can try to get our touchpad working. The first are a couple of simple ones. Uh, most laptops do have a touch pad toggle button, usually along the uh, F row. So on my laptop, it is the F5 key, and you can tell because it has a little touchpad icon with a strike through it. Sometimes it's just a matter of pushing that button and it'll turn it right on. Other times you have to hold FN and then press the key. Either way, it's going to be a physical button on your keyboard. Now, if you don't have a physical button, there is a way to do it in the Windows operating system itself. So from your desktop, go to the Windows menu, search settings. In settings, search for touchpad, and the second option, should be turn the touchpad on or off. Select that, and the top option in this menu should be the touchpad toggle button. So just select that, and it'll turn your touchpad back on if it's already off, or if it's on, then just toggle it, see if that changes anything. So those are the easy and quick fixes to try to get our touchpad working. From here, we're gonna go in a little bit deeper to try to find some fixes. So since we're in the settings menu here, we can go down to Windows Update, and then go check for updates. And what we're looking for specifically are driver updates for the touchpad, so essentially the software we need to update to get this thing working. So as you can see here, I'm all up to date. There is nothing showing up, but if you do see a touchpad update, be sure to install that and then restart your system so that update takes effect. Now, Windows Update doesn't always catch new driver updates, so another way to search for drivers is to go once again to the Windows menu, search Device Manager, open that up, and from here your touchpad can be found in two different spots, so it's either going to be in mice and other pointing devices, or could be in human interface interface devices like on my laptop here. So scroll down, it should be labeled as something something touchpad, so either like Samsung touchpad, Lenovo touchpad, or for me just general HID compliant touchpad. So we're going to right click on that and select the first option, update driver. We're going to select search automatically for drivers, and it'll take a couple seconds to search for drivers on the internet, and if it finds any, it'll show you them here, and it'll ask you to install them. But if you're like me, it'll show this screen here that will say, the best drivers for your device are already installed. So couldn't find any new ones there either. Now, since we are in Device Manager, there is another thing we can do to our touchpad option here. So right-click once again, and then go down to Uninstall Device. This will basically remove it from our laptop. It'll still show up when we restart our system. It just basically starts clean, starts fresh, and reinstalls all the necessary software for this touchpad to work. So select Uninstall, and then restart your computer. Once you've restarted, if the fix worked, obviously, Obviously, you'll be able to move your cursor around. If not, we can continue on to the next step here, which is searching for device drivers using our laptop's built-in software. So if for some reason our Windows Updater and our Device Manager search did not find any new drivers, maybe the utility will. So since I have a Samsung laptop, I have the Samsung Update Utility on mine. Yours will most likely be different depending on what laptop brand you have. I know each laptop manufacturer has their own software. HP, I believe it's the support assistant. Dell is something similar to that. All of them have very similar applications for updating drivers and other software on the system. So for me, all of my drivers are up to date, but if I did have a touchpad driver update, it would list here. You can scan usually using one of the options up towards the top. Just click on scan or check for updates and it should list any new ones here. So as you can see, I'm all good. Nothing to worry about. So my device software didn't find anything. Device manager didn't find anything. Windows didn't find anything. So we're all good to go. That's basically all we can do here on the Windows side, but there is another fix we can try, and that is in the mysterious place known as BIOS. So if you're unfamiliar with BIOS, it's basically some software that we can access before we load into Windows, and it is accessible upon restarting our laptop. So restart your computer, and then during that turning on again phase of the restart process, we're going to be pressing a few buttons to enter into BIOS. So each laptop is different. The most common way to enter BIOS is by just mashing the F2 key as much as you can until it opens up. Delete is also another common method of entering BIOS 
Lenovo machines have enter as the main method of getting into BIOS. So just mash all of them at once, uh, F2, delete, and enter, and you'll get there some way, somehow. Now, once you're in BIOS, it'll look different depending on what laptop you have and what version, how old your system is. Each BIOS is different. A lot of newer ones are more graphical and look a lot nicer than some of the older ones that look like this. Either way, you're looking for an option that says something like general or hardware or setup. Something along those lines is usually where the touchpad options are found. So I have the options here on my Samsung laptop, also on a Lenovo. Both of them here have touchpad toggle buttons in the BIOS and the BIOS options override whatever Windows says. So make sure it's turned on here. Now, not all BIOSes have toggle buttons. Um, some of them just don't have anything relating to the touchpad. Uh, this HP machine I have has the option to troubleshoot the touchpad using a diagnostic tool. So try that if your laptop has that option. Once we've done all we can in BIOS, go to the uh, save and exit option. Make sure to save the changes in BIOS before you leave. So save and exit or save and then exit, whatever option you have to do in your BIOS. Uh, make sure the settings are saved and then exit out of BIOS. And once you're back onto your login screen, your touchpad should be working. You should be able to move that cursor around and navigate around the laptop like a normal person. If none of these fixes actually worked and you are still unable to use your touchpad it is most likely a sign of a deeper issue. Something hardware related on your laptop it could be a corrupted file on your operating system, which could warrant a complete system reinstall. But each laptop model is different. There might be some specific setting on your model of laptop that is different than the ones I have. So do some research on the specific model you are using and try to find any extra fixes that I didn't mention in this video. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to take it easy and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.